and the gym wasn't gonna give me a body like this, so. Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. My name is Ania Dengue, and if this is your first time here, welcome. Here on this channel, I like to do makeup, hair, vlogs, lifestyle videos, and a little bit of everything. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing. I'm just gonna jump right into it. As you can tell by the title, I'm here to give y'all my three month post at BBL update. I'm gonna get into the questions because I know they're gonna come. <sighs> Basic information, okay, my doctor was Dr. Mejio. At Mia Aesthetics in Miami, Florida. I got my massages with the squeeze lady and I did use Mia Miami as a nurse and I chose the standard Airbnb. If you don't know what a BBL is, which I think you do if you're watching this video, but a BBL is a Brazilian butt lift and that's basically when you take fat from your stomach, your arms, your back, and other areas of your body and place it into your butt. So it's liposuction, and the fat transfer into your butt. I'm gonna answer questions. It's gonna be a little Q and A, so I'll tell you a little bit about why, not really why I got a BBL, because I already have a video on that, but um, I asked on Instagram the other day what people wanted to know about, you know, the surgery and the process and everything. So I did get a lot of answers. I mean, I did get a lot of questions. So I'm gonna look down, I'm looking down at my laptop because I have all the questions on there. Um, I don't wanna ramble too much, but if you do have any questions that I don't answer, please leave them down below and I'll be sure to answer them. I'm trying to think if I left out anything. Um, I'm not sure, but I did have my surgery on March 29th um, of 2021, and now it is June 29th, 2021. So currently I am measured at 45 inches for my hips, and I'm at a 29 with my waist. I was at a 28, I'm at a 29 right now because I'm swelling so much, but I'm gonna get back to it. Um, I currently still do wear my faja on and off, not all the time um, as before, but on and off, I still do wear my faja. I am still currently getting massages, not this week or the last few weeks because your girl been down bad. That's what I'm saying. Y'all gotta have the money for surgery. Some unexpected things came up for me with school. So I had to put my money towards school and you know, I'm trying to move, me and my boyfriend trying to move. So I had to put my money elsewhere, but I I do still get massages like at home and I do have a cavitation machine at home that I haven't used yet. I'm scared to use it, but I'm gonna use it. So if you don't know what a cavitation machine is, it's basically for skin tightening because I do have some loose skin because I lost a lot of weight before surgery. <sighs> Enough rambling on, let's get into these questions. The first question I got is, do you want any more surgeries? Um, that's a good question, y'all. I don't know. Y'all have to stay tuned for that. I don't know. I know I do want LASIK. I definitely want LASIK surgery. I know it's not really like a cosmetic surgery. I don't know if it is or not. But um, I definitely do want LASIK for sure. As far as fixing anything else in my body, no, I'm not sure. Maybe after I have kids, I might get my boobs reduced. But that's about it. I'm pretty happy with my body and I love my results. Someone asked how much is it? Guys, I have a whole video on that and how I pay for it, different ways to pay for it, and what the total price was. So make sure you go watch that video and I will leave a link above and down below in the description box. Overall, for everything, it was roughly around $10,000 or $11,000. I can't remember, but for everything, that's like the surgery itself, Airbnb, aftercare, you know, everything included in that ten to eleven thousand dollars okay so i already answered this um somebody said do i still get massages yes i still get massages and i want to continue to get massages but it's not just like the massage like i'm not just going in for a lymphatic massage every time i also get wood therapy and cavitation machines to work on tightening my skin i need to go back to my girl shay she is at knickknacks lady lounge if you are in the dmv area make sure you check her out the next question is when would i be fully healed so according to doctors some people can take up to a whole year to heal um Right now, I'm still not fully healed, even at three months. Like, I still have burning, swelling, and stuff like that. Make sure you go watch my 15 things I didn't know before a BBL video because I talk about that stuff in that video as well. Like, I'm still healing. Yes, I go out and I feel normal and stuff like that. But after a drink, after salty food, guys, I blow up. So, I'm not, I'm really not fully healed and I'm still trying to tighten my skin. I'm currently taped right now, actually. So, you're gonna not heal yet. I'm, hopefully, I'm healed. <laughs> around six months i just want the swelling to stop that's all it is like i kind of feel normal i'm still like stiff in some areas like i really can't like bend all the way over or do like splits and stuff yet but i'm working on it yeah i'm trying to get back to where i used to be but it takes time someone asked me if i am happy with my results guys let me tell y'all this is the best money i've ever spent i know this money could have went for a house a car my student loans which i ain't paying no time soon this money could have went elsewhere but i'm so happy i invested in myself i look amazing and i feel amazing i think dr mihio did a very great job shaping my body i love my hips my butt is not too big it's not too small it's just right you know i'm very happy with my results i ain't never had a stomach like this y'all 
and the gym wasn't gonna give me a body like this. So on to the next question. Would I recommend Dr. Mejia? I also have a video on this, guys. I have a video on my whole review of Mia Aesthetics, Dr. Me Heal, Men Miami, and The Squeeze Lady. So make sure you go watch that video, but in short answer, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I would recommend Dr. Me Heal for his results, but now that man is like 12K just for the surgery, so I don't know, because his bedside manners aren't what I expected at all. And sometimes he seems kind of arrogant to me. I mean, would you pop me like that, I guess? But that's not how you treat people who are paying money to get their body done by you, you know? He had no best time manner. Like, this man was cold. But I've heard other girls with better experiences, so I don't know. Just do your research, sis. Ooh, I have a good question next. Okay, somebody asked me, what are the other doctors I was considering? Guys, if you have been following along with my journey, you know that I have been researching this for like a year now. So, of course, there were other doctors I had in mind before I picked my doctor. Um, I did look at Dr. Delbeck. I did look at Goals Plastic Surgery. No specific doctors, but I did look at Goals. I looked at Fusasi. I also looked at Willis, too. Um, and there was a few more that I looked at. I even considered for a hot second. For like two seconds, y'all. Don't, don't come at me because I talk about this all the time. Don't come at me. I definitely considered going out the country, but my family, my boyfriend, they shut that down. So I won't even mention the other doctors because, yeah, they shut that down, though. And I was also looking at Dr. Williams until, you know, he started treating people differently, getting that little Instagram special and stuff like that. No, 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 no. So, yeah, just do your research because there are so many doctors to pick from. And just make sure you really get to know your doctor before you go under that knife. Someone asked me how bad are my scars. My scars aren't that bad, I don't think. I can insert a video right here. Um, Here's my incisions under my boobs. I think my incisions are healing very well and here are my other three incisions i'm so short but here they are it's one right here here and here so i do have some dark marks i have three um on my stomach like you know where my underwear line is i have two underneath my butt cheeks i have two in my back and i just realized i had two right above my butt cheeks so this whole time i didn't know i had scars on the top of my butt cheeks but you can't really see them i am trying to lighten them up with bio oil i do use bio oil every time i get out the shower to lighten the scars up but they're really not noticeable oh and i do have two underneath my boobs so because my boobs are big you'll never see those scars um and your underwear line i feel like everything covers that so you really won't see it but even under my butt cheeks like my butt hangs over so much you can't see the scar so I ain't really tripping about the scars. Yeah, I ain't really tripping about the scars. Do I recommend getting a BBL? Sis, I recommend whatever is best for you. Know why you want to get it. Don't do it for anybody else. Don't do it because you're trying to look like somebody else. Do it because you want to do it. I recommend getting a BBL if you're ready. If you're ready. If you're done the research and everything like that and you committed to it, you saved up your money, I say go ahead, go get the BBL, but just make sure. And I cannot emphasize this enough. I cannot emphasize this enough. Make sure you do your research. If you think you really want a BBL, make sure you are prepared mentally, physically, emotionally, financially. It's a lot. Make sure you're prepared. If you want it, I say go get it. You know, do whatever you got to do to make yourself happy. Don't worry about what anybody else has to think. Do whatever you have to do to make yourself happy. And if that's getting a BBL, sis, go get that BBL. On a scale from 1 to 10, what was my pain level? Of course, that changes all the time, especially as you go on and start to heal more. In the first week, I can say my pain was probably like an 8. It was a lot of burning, a lot of swelling. I could feel the fluid moving between my skin. I could feel air bubbles in between my skin, guys. It was so uncomfortable and the just burning and the pain sensation. It's, it's, it's not unbearable, but it's highly, highly uncomfortable. And I did this surgery with no pain medication because no one in Mia prescribes pain medication anymore. At first, when I was down there, it was just Dr. Mejio and he stopped prescribing pain medicine two days before I got my surgery. So. There's that. How soon did I have to buy new clothes? So, <laughs> this may sound crazy, but your girl started shopping for new clothes before I even got the surgery. <laughs> because I was like, I know I'm gonna look good in that. I'm gonna know I'm gonna look good in this. I'm gonna look good in that. But uh, about two weeks, I think I started ordering clothes, like like everyday clothes, I would say, instead of going out clothes. And then I realized I was ordering these clothes in larges when I'm not a large anymore. Like I can fit things in a medium because my waist is so small my boobs are big so like off tops of course i still have to get some of them in a large i do get them in a medium if i want them 
tight and wanted to wear them without a bra but my pants and everything is pretty much the same now i haven't ordered new jeans yet your girl's kind of scared so i've only ordered like stretchy bottoms and stuff that i know i could get away with but even like a lot of my old clothes i can still fit pretty well and they even look a lot better than they did we'll have a video coming soon of me doing like a side by side comparison of me and my clothes before i got my body done and my clothes after i got my body done because somebody requested to see that video and girl thank you for that because i was planning to do something like that i just never got around to it so thank you for reminding me you know who you are um when did i sit so this is pretty controversial and i don't care about your opinions on it but your girl started sitting at two weeks no bbl pillow no bobby pillow okay i'm lying i did like a bobby pillow for like five minutes here and there and then i tried to do the bbl pillow and that thing is uncomfortable so i was like no i'm done i was getting really depressed laying down on my, all the time being on my knees my elbow was burning and scraping y'all so no i had to sit i had to sit and it's like i cannot live my life without sitting so your girl just sat i didn't lose anything i really think i, I lost an inch after the first week of surgery but i definitely think that was due to swelling because you know your butt goes down after surgery um due to all this swelling so i only lost an inch your girl still got hips everything's still there i'm still thick so i don't think sitting affected anything where did i get my faha i get asked this question so much i got it from tributo i think i'm pronouncing that right um i will leave their instagram down below they are a colombian brand they have bomb ass fajas y'all i mean you better be ready to send some red but they got some bomb ass fajas i actually want to get my stage three faja from there um with the bras and the really high compression just your girl will need to get some money first and then i'm gonna go get another faja but um for right now the one i have i've been wearing since about two weeks after my surgery it was pretty early um I had a lady who didn't know what she was doing at first until I found Shay, who is my go-to now. But she put me in my faha really early and it was extremely tight. But now I even had to get it taken in. I got it taken in two inches on the waist, just on the waist. And then I am on my fourth hook. So it's time to get it taken in again. So I'm very happy. But yeah, that's where I got my faha from. How did I know what size clothes to get, guys? I didn't know. Like I said, I really didn't know. I just winged it. Ordered stuff, tried it on for no fit, send it back. I really didn't send it back, but... <laughs> If it didn't fit, I was just like, okay, now I know from next time what to do. But honestly, just look at the size charts because, you know, every single website is completely different in sizing anyway. So just always check the size charts and the reviews and you can know your size based off of that. How am I feeling now? So right now I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really good besides the here, there, stiffness. I'm so tired of the swelling. And I just wish like uh, my skin would hurry up and get tighter. Uh, my doctor told me I might need a little tummy tuck. But I'm not trying to get that. So after I have kids, which is understandable because I was really big before surgery and I lost a lot of weight. And yeah, so loose skin comes with it, but I'm embracing it all, you know, because my stomach ain't never done this flick. Someone said, do people treat me differently? I don't think people treat me, like people I know don't treat me differently because I was telling, I told everybody about the surgery before I got it done. So I don't think people really treat me differently, but definitely when I go out, I know that a lot more people, people have always stared at me because I have really big boobs and my boobs are always out. So I'm used to people staring at me and stuff like that staring at my body but it's like od down it, like niggas will, like just thirsty thirsty for no reason i promise y'all i go out now i don't pay for anything grand said hold up <laughs> grand said beforehand is just buying me drinks and yes, I have a boyfriend, but if I'm out with my friends and a guy wants to buy me a drink, I'm going to let him because I'm not spending my money and it's saving me and my boyfriend money, okay? So I'm going to get my little free drinks and yes, I get my drinks. I don't pay to get in the clubs. Like, it's like, it's, it's kind of like, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I think in that aspect, yes, people treat me a little bit differently, but I love it. I love it. Except for like the creepy stares and the old guys that like, when people say are way too hard. I don't like that. I don't like a lot of attention, but I like the free drinks. I like the free food, you know, you know. What was the hardest part about this surgery? Like I said, I think the hardest part about the surgery is definitely laying down all the time. I got really depressed and also the breakouts from the surgery. Guys, my back is broke out so much. And I'm gonna show you guys, but my back is broken out so much. And it's from the surgery because I hear all the time like people break out from surgery and stuff like that. Like my face has been breaking out. My back is broken out so bad where my massage therapist thought I had bed bugs. Time to find out there weren't bed bugs, but I was just breaking out and I think it's due to surgery. So I'm trying to clear up my back. I have, I already had back knee, but it was like cute little freckles, but now it's like everywhere on my back and I don't like it. So I'm trying to clear it up, but I also kind of think it's cute, but I don't really like it because it's painful. Like it's itchy. The back knee isn't itchy. Let me, let me correct myself the back knee is not itchy it's my skin is healing so i'm itching and when i scratch it i scratch some of the back knee and it just irritates it even more 
that sounds disgusting but i'm telling y'all the real i'm telling y'all we'll come with surgery because breakouts are definitely a side effect of surgery it could be a side effect of surgery did i have any bad experiences after surgery besides the back knee breakout i don't think i really had any bad experiences after surgery i never went to the hospital i didn't have low hemo i never passed out so I feel like I had a really good recovery process and everything like that. I can only say like after surgery, when you're laying down all the time, your neck begins to hurt and get really stiff and it causes headaches. Um, so besides those two things, I haven't really had any bad experiences. The last question is how long did it take me to recover? And I kind of already answered this. Your girl is still recovering. I'm still recovering. I'm only three months full stop. Um, I'm not even at six months full stop yet. So I'm still recovering, guys. I'm still going through it and I'm going to be going through it for a while. I hope not though, but I'm prepared to go through it for a while. So now that the Q&A is done, I'm gonna get into this body really quick, guys. So like I said, my stomach is taped up and really swollen. I haven't had my file hot on for like three days now, but that's because I'm not gonna even wanna get into that. That's a different story, but my stomach is taped up and I did tape it at home by myself. And this is off brand tape, guys, and it kinda is trash, but it's what I had laying around in the house. So I just used this just to pull up my skin a little bit more. And let me go with the camera. Mind you, I said I have some loose skin right here. Like, you think this is fat, but this is loose skin. This is really loose skin. And, yeah. This is fat. <laughs> but here is the body. Here's the back. And as y'all can see, as y'all can see, I have a lot of back knee. And I don't like it. Let's get into these scars. Um, one, two, and then one, two, and three right there. And then, like I told y'all, just getting undressed on camera, but I have panties on. So, one on top of here, one on top of here. And y'all can see the, um, I don't know where they are, but they're bigger than the back knee marks. But there's like one right here somewhere and one on my upper back and then two under my butt cheeks. So here's my body. I'm like on my tippy toes trying to show you on my butt. So guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this Q&A. If you have any questions, any more questions, anything you want to know, anything I didn't say or any tips for any girls trying to get a BBL, please leave them all down below in the comment section. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'm always thank y'all for over 700 subscribers. Your girl is almost at 800 subscribers. And I've only been doing this since December. So I am really blessed. I thank y'all for sticking with me, watching my videos, engaging with me. But please be sure to like, comment share and subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you can get notified every single time i post a video okay thanks guys i'll see you on my next video bye